how do we add a number scroller, right? So basically, as we're scrolling down, the actual numbers would start co counting, right? So we go to good old friend Google, and we're just going to type num scroller js. You can see over here, right? So we type for num scroller js, and no, we don't want none no, no, scroller, right? That's not what we meant. And you can see over here the num scroller jQuery number increment rolling plugin, right? And it actually has a very, very basic a documentation, right? The only thing that it's asking is actually a jQuery, right? Which is we already have. And over here, this script, right? So the only thing we need to do over here is actually going to copy this and obviously download it, right? But first, let's actually go and go ahead and download that. I'm sorry, go ahead and let's add this script. Right, so in between magnific pop-up, we're gonna create over here a comment, and we're gonna say that this is gonna be a num scroller over here like this, and then we're gonna say that we will not paste that. So this is gonna be a num scroller js, right? But you can see that uh, over here, yeah, everything is correct. Yeah, so over here you can see that they are giving you the documentation, right? What we're gonna have to write, but we're going to actually go ahead and download it first, right? So we're going to go and see where is the download options, right? Where they have them. And over here, you can see that this is a download, right? So we just click download and they take us over here to a uh, GitHub. So we just download the zip. Then we have the zip. Then once we have over here, the num num scroller, right? And here we have the, the JS, right? So the only thing is we need to do is drag it actually to our folder. So we go to JS, let's say in this case, because this is not a big, there's no need for a separate folder for that, right? So the only thing is we need over here this numscroller.js. Once we have copied the numscroller.js, we just go back over here to the brackets and we can actually close this GitHub. And over here, you can see that they, this is how they're telling us how we need to work with that, right? So we can right away over here, we can copy this one over here. And we can just go ahead and find where, which numbers we would want to scroll up or down, right? So here we have, what is the first one, right? We have a div. This is the team president, right? So the users, right? So this is the one that we would want, right? So over here, we just delete this one over here. We would just paste it over here. This is, says 1,000, right? The increment would be, let's say, uh, we're going to do the increment one, right? And you can see the, the whole point of it, right? So it's adding us over here a span that has a class numscroller, data min, data max, right? So if we go over here, if we say, like, let's say data max is like, let's say, like something like 4,000. And over here, we change it to 4,000, right? So this is going to be right now a 4,000. Uh, span right and if we just save it and we refresh nothing was happening because over here you can see that we have an umscroller right and we have our file but over here we haven't changed it their address right so you can see that source is numscroller pretty much thinks that there's some somewhere a file right so over here we need to add a javascript right this is the folder where it's actually located and we click it over here and now if we save it and we're going to refresh you can see that it starts counting over here, right? So pretty basic thing. What we need to do is over here, we just need to copy this, right? So we're just going to copy the span over here. And we're going to go over here where we have our heading one. And we're going to add some more, right? So we're going to paste it over here, another 4,000 and another one, right? We're going to delete these users. And we're going to paste it over here. And what we want to do is we can obviously change these numbers, right? So if we have max, let's say like something like 4,000, then maybe let's change this one to like 5,000, something like this, right? So if we add over here to 5,000, this is gonna be a 5,000, and let's go ahead and over here, it's gonna be 6,000, right? And here the max is gonna be 6,000, right? And again, this is gonna be a data min, data max, where it's starting, where it's ending. Data delay is pretty much as we're scrolling down, how long it takes before it actually starts counting, right? So this is five over here. And increments, again, we can change it to, let's say, to something like 10, right? And if we save it, and if we start again, you can see that it's counting by 10, right? So this is gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit different, right? And over here, these ones are still counting by one, right? 
So this is, you can see how easy it is to actually add over here, this number scroller, right? And anywhere, if you want to add numbers, right? You can use this little uh, light jQuery plugin and you're gonna get a very good effect. So now that we're done with that, let's go ahead actually and create a next section. And this is gonna be our pricing section. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.